Hello everybody, I am with my boy Griffin Benger, who I have not seen in ages, yeah. who I always love to see. I just spotted you on the floor, I saw you were at the top of the chip counts, the 3K6 Max coming in today. So first of all, for inquiring minds out there, where the H have you been? What are you doing with your life? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm still kind of playing the, the circuit, not as aggressively maybe in, in the years past. Um, I'm doing something a little different this year with the World Series. Usually I come out here for the whole thing. Um, suffer from a lot of burnout, a lot of FOMO, I feel like I have to play every tournament and then by the main event, you know, I'm completely burnt out. The one year I, I final table the thing, I only came out for the main. So this year my priority was just to come out for like 10 days here. I'm actually supposed to be flying out tomorrow, but looks like that's going to have to change. Um, and then Sad. come back out for the main, yeah. <laughs> Which, speaking of, how are things going in, in the 6 Max? Good, yeah. I mean, I started with uh, started with about 425. Uh, I went down to around 300, and then I won a huge flip against one of the best players in the tournament, Ben Heath, which is, you know, super fortunate. And that's that great. Yeah, that's a nice little swing back to where I started, and now I'm sitting around half a million, which is, you know, well over 2x average. So really great shape, yeah. So I'm just not seeing you, but you actually are playing poker, and that's like your main force. Like I was afraid that maybe you just abandoned poker, and then you were back in video games, or maybe you were <laughs> on TV, or what was going on. But you're still you're still in the poker game. Yeah, I mean, I, I came to uh, the PSPC in uh, in January and finished in the final two tables, so that was a nice boost to start the year. I had a nice little nice little score online during the T Coop, so I've been splashing around here and there. It, it seems like I show up, and, and things seem to go well, whether it's with swaps or playing. So you know, so it'll... Like it's better to just take it a little easy because yeah. I do. Good that way. I mean, I feel like I feel like the biggest thing for the the World Series I've found by the end of it is, you know, even the best players with all the discipline, I, they they do definitely suffer from a lot of burnout and a lot of like losing and losing, losing. And I think that you know, for someone who like me, you know, I, I'm not as studied as a lot of these guys, and they're, you know, there's a lot of better players are getting better and better, you know, and so I feel like I need to use that to my advantage and show up real fresh and just completely focused for for the few tournaments that are staying out here and spending 70k in buy-ins and hating my life if, if it doesn't work out. <laughs> it's so interesting because I feel like players are always talking about how they find their edge and I actually would say that that's a way that many players don't even consider. Like just <laughs> take it easy a little bit and enjoy. My way I guess. <laughs> well there's not that many players that I like to play games with for obvious reasons. Um, many of them are uncomfortable doing like a lot of things. Okay. Um, but this is a game, it's basically 20 questions, yeah. but it's eight questions. Okay. So th you're going to think of a poker player. Okay. I'm going to ask you yes or no questions and try to figure out who you're thinking of. Okay. okay I got one. You sure. Five. You got it already? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Is it a man? Yes. <laughs> Dang it. That was going to make it so much easier. Um, does this person play mostly live? Okay, wait. Let me rephrase that. Okay. Does this person play mostly online? Would I know them from playing mostly online? Maybe. Both. Both. Has this person won a major European tournament? No. Has this person won a bracelet? No. I didn't make it too hard for you, I promise. Okay. That's three questions, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is this person attractive? Yes. Ooh. Okay. It, I mean, I find him super attractive. Okay. Not necessarily like conventionally, like he's, it's not Anton Wig or Mark andre Lattisor, but he, I find him, yeah, he's, he's attractive, attractive guy. Okay. Is he under 35? No. Oh my gosh, I'm already at five questions. This is getting really <laughs> hard. Okay. Is, is, has he been branded? Um, at one point, yes, but not by the big three. Is he from Canada? No. I only have one more question, and I'm like not even close at all. Uh, help me, guys. What's like? Questions. What's a really good question in this spot? Is he American? No. Okay, we've got a dreamy European who's barely been patched. Maybe plays <laughs> online, definitely plays live too, but doesn't win anything. Um, <laughs> I, I know I said I wouldn't make it too hard for you, but it's it's, it's a good one. I, I feel I feel okay about this, even though you're struggling. Okay, is he Nordic? No. Okay, I quit. Sam Grafton. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That was so good. Although the like unconventionally good looking might have been a stretch, I would say very like cool. Okay, yeah, I shouldn't have said I mean. attractive. Uh, attractive is a trap. Good looking. Attractive.
attractive right. is a trap because he he's very attractive, attractive but right. he's not like I said you know he's this is a semantics mistake and I won't make this mistake again did you guys get it did you guys have it I will of course wish you luck in in the six nine it's always so, so good to see you my boy my boy check your privilege Sarah Herring <laughs>